Hey guys, how you doing? I'm doing okay. I saw on the news this morning about uh, Schumer's um, attack on the court, and I thought to myself, oh wow, they're really, you know, they're talking about voting censure, and uh, congressmen should not, um, well, I mean, we saw uh, Maxine Waters, also a member of Congress enticing violence, and my immediate reaction was, um, this is Maxine Waters 2.0. Okay, even though this is not Maxine Waters, this is basically the same rhetoric. Okay, and I had a whole series of videos uh, lined up uh, to um, for this video, and uh, I got them all lined up. And then I said, "Okay, let's look at this thing. Let's look at Schumer's speech." And I was expecting. Um, basically, a Maxine Waters of uh, uh, 2.0 here. Um, and to be fair, because I believe in fairness, okay, and um, because uh, it is wrong to um, lie and deceive and uh, twist, twist things to make people say what they're not saying. And they've been doing that a lot to Trump. And I'm not like that. I'm against that. And so I always have said, I may disagree with you, but I will fight to the death your right to your opinion and your feelings and your freedom of speech even though I don't agree with you, or agree with your side. And I say, having watched Schumer's entire speech, see, when you take something out of context, okay, if you take something out of context, if you're taking only a tiny sound bite out of a sentence, like they did to Trump about Charlottesville, okay, it, it, it changed the whole meaning. You you change a sentence. You cut off certain parts of that sentence. You change the meaning of the sentence. <coughs> and to my surprise, basically Schumer is saying no different than what we Republicans have been saying about the Democrats, about uh, Nancy Pelosi in particular, AOC, you know, he's saying no different, no different, and I think that's unfair, and for this, I'm standing up for Schumer, uh, Schumer's right, I should say, to what he's saying, <clears throat> and that they're taking what he said out of context. So here's where I disagree to what Republicans are doing against uh, Schumer for what he's saying here, okay? Because I believe in fairness, okay? And as I, I just said, it bears repeating. You take someone's sentence and you alter the sentence, whether you cut off certain words to that sentence. It changes the meaning of the sentence, it changes the intent, and it changes the whole overall message. When you do not take the statement, the message, from beginning to end, you have to take the whole damn thing. Okay? You know, it's like when so many people cut me off, you know, when I hit a comma in a sentence, and they think... I hit a period. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm not finished. You wouldn't let me finish my thought. 
That was a comma. That wasn't a period. That was a comma. You know, so I owe everybody that same right to finish their thought from beginning to end and not take what's being said, take a chunk of it out of context because that's wrong. Because that changes the whole meaning and you end up making a person say something that you end up putting words in their mouth, which I hate because people have done that to me. You know, by taking things I've said out of context, uh, listen to only selected parts of it, fill in the blanks, and put words on my mouth. And I hate that. You know, so I, they're doing that to Schumer, and it's wrong. I call a spade a spade. It's wrong for what they're doing to Schumer about this. I don't like the man, but damn it, he has a right to his opinion. He has a right to his freedom of speech like we all do. Okay, and so I just want to make that clear. I believe in fairness. You know, people might think that because I am a Trump supporter, you know, it's like blind loyalty and can never, and I must, absolutely must say something against uh, the other side, or else I'm a traitor. I mean, that's absurd. I give everybody the same rights. So anyway, I'll still play those other videos. But, to be absolutely 1,000% fair to, to Schumer and what, he, what his message is, I'm going to share with you the entire speech and how I am so pissed at what Fox News and Republicans are doing to this speech, taking it out of context. That is wrong. That is so damn wrong. Okay, Mr. Schumer, you say what you want to say. Inside. Okay, hold on. Inside the walls of this court. The Supreme Court is hearing arguments, as you know, for the first major abortion right cases since Justices Kavanaugh and Justices Gorsuch came to the bench. We know what's at stake. Over the last three years, women's reproductive rights have come under attack in a way we haven't seen in modern history. From Louisiana to Missouri to Texas, Republican legislatures are waging a war on women, all women, and they're taking away fundamental rights. I want to tell you, Gorsuch, I want to tell you, Kavanaugh, you have released the whirlwind and you will pay the price. You won't know what hit you if you go forward with these awful decisions. The bottom line is very simple. We will stand with the American people. We will stand with American women. We will tell President Trump and Senate Republicans who have stacked the court with right-wing ideologues that you're going to be gone in November and you will never be able to do what you're trying to do now ever, ever again. Now, did you hear what he just said? Three, uh, a few little words. All right. Up until he said those few words, I have something ready to say. But that as soon as he said three very or four very, very extremely important words, that made all the difference about this speech and what they're presuming to be a possible threat that is unbecoming of a senator. Okay, I'm going to replay this, and I'm going to stop at I'm going to I'm going to stop at each point and offer my comments. So I'm going to replay this, and um, you'll see what I'm saying. Okay, here we go. Walls of this court. 
the Supreme Court is hearing arguments, as you know, for the first major abortion right cases since Justices Kavanaugh. That's his opinion. And Justices Gorsuch. Okay. All right. To be absolutely fair, absolutely fair, do we as Republicans have the same reaction to AOC, to Pelosi, to um, uh, Ruth, Gator, uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, right? So, hey, that's that. We, I I will protect his right to give thumbs down. And the crowd to boo, hey, they have every right to boo. This is America. We're entitled to free speech. Okay, even though we disagree with it, we, they have every right to free speech. And Schumer has every right to his free speech with a thumbs down. That's what makes America so great. That I respect his right to his opinion came to the bench. We know what's at stake. Over the last three years, women's re re reproductive rights have come under attack in a way we haven't seen in modern... Okay. We are not attacking women's rights. We are attacking the rights of the unborn. Okay. We are attacking those who uh, embrace abor uh, abortion against the rights of the unborn. We have no interest in um, um, uh, interfering in women's reproductive rights. We say if you are intending for an abortion, do not get pregnant in the first place. There is an era of responsibility here. Okay. You, as a woman, as a, if you're old enough to bear children, then you must, absolutely must be old enough to bear responsibility against getting pregnant in the first place. If you do not want to be pregnant, this is what I always said. I always thought family planning was planning your family. I'm a planner. That's my nature. I plan. I plan my activities. I plan what I watch. I plan what I spend. I plan the day. I plan the week. I plan the meals. I plan, plan, plan. I lay it out in a plan. And when you're planning a family, you say, I don't want to get pregnant at least for two more years. So what do you do? You make sure you don't get pregnant. You wear condoms. You take birth control pills. IUDs or whatever it is. But mainly birth control pills. Birth control pills. You plan. <clears throat> if you don't want to be pregnant, then make sure you don't you make sure you don't, because if the end result is an abortion, then you're saying from the outset that you did not intend to get pregnant, it was an accident. Or are you deliberately getting pregnant so you can get an abortion? That's another question to ask yourself. 
Are you deliberately getting pregnant so you can have an abortion, so you have an argument for the pro-abortion side? What, 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 what says that about you as a woman? Think about that. Think about that. What does that say about you as a woman if you deliberately get pregnant just so you can have an abortion, just so you can fight for this? I don't believe any woman wants an abortion, likes an abortion, enjoys abortion, having, aborting their child, and going through that whole process. You show me any woman who loves going through it, who loves going through an abortion. I seriously doubt you'll find one. That you'll find a woman who looks forward to having an abortion. Oh, I love getting an abortion. Oh, that's so much fun. No. No, no, no. So if you are fighting for women's rights, you're fighting for the right to terminate a pregnancy, but if you don't want to get pregnant, if abortion terminating that pregnancy, uh, pregnancy is the overall goal and what you have in your mindset, then you must, as a responsible woman, do everything you can to make sure you don't get pregnant in the first place. So we're not controlling women or taking away your rights as a woman. Because we're saying, you don't want to get pregnant, you better damn well make sure it don't happen. Do everything in your power as a responsible woman to make sure you don't get pregnant. That's all. That's all we're saying. So that's my response to that. History. From Louisiana to Missouri to Texas, Republican legislatures are waging a war on women. Untrue. 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 We love women. We believe in a woman's rights. But a woman must be responsible. Because if she is irresponsible to get pre uh, pregnant accidentally and go through uh, abortion, she is not responsible yet. With Everything that pregnancy and the implications of the pregnancy goes with it. Again, family planning. Family planning. If you're not ready for abortion, I'm sorry, if you're not ready to be pregnant, then make sure you don't get pregnant. You plan for it. You plan for your family. And you go into a relationship or you go into a marriage, say, I'm not ready. You start taking precautions. You start taking birth control pills. You start using uh, condoms. You make sure you don't get pregnant until you're ready. That's family planning. Be responsible. All women. And they're taking away fundamental rights. Not true, as I said. Not true. What we're saying is, we believe in the sanctity of life. All life. Even the life of the unborn. And what happens in a mother's womb is beyond description. The formation of a life, of a person, of a human being, that is so godly. The creation, it, it, it's almost existential. I look at my existence, my existence as a human being, the universe that surrounds me, the universe of living, breathing, talking, thinking, reasoning, 
friendships. Uh, seeing, hearing, tasting, smelling. There's a whole universe in that. Sometimes it fills me with awe. That is a universe inside that mother's womb. And I have yet to find a woman who does not feel a sense of awe about what's taking place inside her body. So, um, okay, that's that. I want to tell you, Gorsuch, I want to tell you, Kavanaugh, you have released the whirlwind, and you will pay the price. Is that a threat? You won't know what hit you. Uh-oh, that sounds like a threat. Are you going to sneak up and bash him behind the head? Are you going to shoot him? Oh, my gosh. Really? If you go forward with these awful decisions, the bottom line is very simple. We will stand with the American people. We will stand with American women. We will tell President Trump and Senate Republicans who have stacked the court with right-wing ideologues that... Uh, right-wing ideologues? Well, uh, whatever you said, uh, you're entitled to your opinion, sir. That you're going to be gone in November. Thank you. Thank you. You're going to be gone in November. You're going to be gone in November. Those words, you're going to be gone in no Six words. Six very, very, very important words. You're going to be gone in November. You're going to be gone in November. That's the threat. That's the threat. That's the entire threat that he uttered a moment ago about uh, you'll be sorry or whatever it was he said. Okay, that was the entire threat. You'll be you're going to be gone in November. That's it. That's really it. That is a very harmless threat. So everything that um, uh, Republican, uh, uh, I, I'm going to say this against Fox News, but someone somewhere on our side has manipulated this speech to make Schumer say what he wasn't saying. That was the entire threat. You're going to be gone in November. And that's exactly what we say about the Democrats in Congress and whoever else. You're going to be gone in November. The shoes are on the other foot right now. Hey, no different. No different at all. No different at all. And once everybody knows and understands, that's more importantly, listen to those very important words. You're going to be gone in November. When he said, you're not going to know what hit you. The court with right-wing ideologues that you're going to be gone in November. You're going to be gone in November. That's it. That's all. That is the entire threat. <clears throat> that has all the threat of a paper tiger. Okay. That's it. That's it. Game over. Game over. That's it. So please, Republicans at Fox News, please defuse this bomb you're creating. That is wrong. That is wrong what you're doing by blowing this out of proportion and making Schumer say something he's not saying. That is as much power as a paper tiger. You will be gone in November. That's the threat. No violence, no uh, people going to attack you, not going to know what hit you. Because someone will shoot you or slam behind you. 
<coughs> no, no, no. All the threat is when, they, when he says you're not going to know that you is you're going to be gone in November, and that's it. That's the entire threat. It has all the power of paper tiger. That's it. That's it. Case closed. There's nothing to see here, folks. Nothing to see here. Nothing. Nothing to see here. Absolutely nothing. He has every right to that. Just like we have every right to say Pelosi, AOC, uh, Omar, and everybody else on the Democrat side, um, uh, Adam Schiff and all those guys, you're going to be gone November 2. Same thing. At which point we say, let's wait to November and see what happens then. But as far as this threat is concerned, uh, you're not going to know it hit you because you're going to be gone in November. That's it. That's it. Nothing to see here, folks. Okay, go on home. Go on home. Nothing to see here. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save my footage for something else. Because it does not apply here. I got all this, all these videos collected, ready to go, and you know what? It's inappropriate. It is inappropriate. It has no bearing on this. Now that I've listened to the entire, well, the whole crux of the main speech, the intent of what he said by saying, um... Uh, you'll not know what hit you because you're going to be gone in November. So, okay, everybody go on home, folks. Go on home. There's nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> oh, man, I tell you. Wow. Hey, that goes, that only goes to show you we're not arrogant, we're not, you know, what other people think of conservatives or Republicans. Not at all. Because I believe in fairness and I believe in um, not taking something out of context and blowing it up and making it to something that it isn't. You're going to be gone in November. Has all the power and rage as a paper tiger. That's it. That's it. All I can do now is kind of laugh, chuckle. Wow. <laughs> Man. I tell you, I was all worked up and everything about this, you know, and then I come out here and I, I, I do my research and I, I go to the videos and, and, I, and I watch the whole videos. I even, I even went to Obama's last address to the nation before he left uh, in 2017. Uh, you know, and I was ready with that, too. And I, I will, there's a lot of things I'll cover with that, too, in another video. Um, but, um, yeah, everything else that I had lined up, it doesn't apply here. So I'm going to save all that stuff for another time, another video, another circumstance. But it's inappropriate here. It is totally irrelevant here. It has no bearing and it's. Um, it, it's not part of this at all. Not at all. Man, what I heard this morning and what I'm, what I'm discovering now are like the difference between night and day. It really is. Does that mean I trust Fox News less? No. Because, hey, they're only human and people, human beings make mistakes, you know? So, so the little um, views just went out in me about this because of what I was like. Oh my God, you know, 
But um, now I realize there's nothing there. As someone would say, there's no there there. It's nothing. Nothing from what I was told. Nothing from what I heard. That's why you always cannot always believe what you're told. You must do your own research. And you must get the entire speech. And that is one reason why I hate CNN because, or MSNBC because they'll broadcast or they'll air President Trump's speech and within two minutes of his speech they'll cut away and start talking about the speech before he even says anything. Let the damn man talk. Let us decide what to believe because you cut him off, you cut him off his tongue so we can't hear what he's saying. And that's the same thing they're doing to poor Schumer. Because by, by cutting him off, by making a sound bite, creating a sound bite of a piece of a message without airing the entire message, which they may or may not have done, I don't know. I, was, you know, I wasn't watching the news at the time. But when this was live, or maybe they didn't cover it, I don't know. But everybody's human. So anyway, uh, as I said, there's nothing to see here, folks. Nothing to see here. So um, everyone go home. Everyone go home. Nothing to see here, folks. Nothing to see here. Mr. Schumer, you have every right to your opinion. And I will fight to the death your right to express your opinion and your freedom of speech. Even though I disagree with it, I will defend your right to express it. Even though I disagree with it. You have every right to it, just like I have every right to mine, and each person has their right for theirs. And every person, and I say this strongly, Everyone has the same right to not take their words out of context and to not be intentionally manipulated by others who end up putting words in our mouths by not hearing us completely. That is wrong. And that I'm against. Even though I disagree with Schumer on many, many things, I, he has every right to his feeling and his opinion and his right to express it. So. Oh. <laughs> okay. I feel much better. I'm not so egged up because there's nothing here. Nothing here. No threats, no, like, where do I blow it up? No, no, no. Uh, nothing like that. Nothing, 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 nothing at all. You're not going to know what hit you because you will be gone in November. Hey, that's what we say, too. And we have a right to his, our opinion just like Schumer has every right to his and to voice his opinion. <coughs> hey, you know. So, thank you. I, I, I'm sorry for getting you all worked up. Uh, hey, I didn't know. <laughs> hey, when I came out here, I, I didn't know. And that's why it's so important to do your research. Anyway, before I talk this whole damn thing to death, Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And everybody keep an open mind. Let's keep the fire down to a slow simmer, please. <coughs> it does nobody any good. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And, hey, let's treat each other better, okay? We're all Americans. We're all in this together. 
We're all one big family. Yeah, I know some family always have fights and arguments with family, but we're still family. Right? Well, in some circumstances, however extreme, I don't know. That's another matter. But anyway, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening again. I'll see you soon. Take care, guys. And like I said, let's all spread the word. Let's treat each other better. Let's do everything we can to treat each other better. Okay, guys. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye.